Welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel, and this is the tip number 29. Um, and it's regarding the weather and the effects on propagation on a VHF UHF range. I get that question quite regularly. Does the weather affect uh, propagation of radio signals? And yes, it does in some frequency ranges. So the higher the frequency you are in a VHF UHF range, the more the weather will have an effect on propagation of signals. Because the shorter the wavelength, the easier it gets blocked by objects. Um, and the different characteristics of the propagation of these signals, depending on the frequency you use, means that a day that's rainy might have different type of propagation than a day that it's sunny. A day that it's warm or if a cold front or war front goes through and the changes in temperature creates different several effects that are actually noticeable on a VHF UHF ranges. So an example is that the higher the frequency you are, the more of these effects you'll see and the different effects you'll see. In the lower range, like, you know, 30 to 50 megahertz, very often there's not a lot of effect from weather. But as you start progressing within the VHF range, there are things that can happen. Uh, one phenomena, tropospheric um, scattering, or uh, they often say, oh, there's tropo propagation. Tropo is signals getting trapped into layers of the atmosphere because of the different temperatures. And sometimes we talk about temperature inversions. Sometimes a layer of the air will be at a temperature, but the other temperature, um, you know, higher in the altitudes, maybe the mass of air is of a different temperature. So maybe it's warm at the top, cold at the bottom, or the reverse. But that area, you know, often mass, air masses don't mix very well together. They actually, um, the cold air and the warm air often have their own space and there's that transition zone where it moves from the cold to the warm or warm to the cold and that creates places where signals and the VHF range sometimes get trapped and you'll have that effect showing as a signal that might be um, line of sight and go from you know maybe say 60 kilometers in distance or 100 kilometers in distance suddenly you're hearing something 200 kilometers away. Why? Because there's a layer of air that could trap that signal and keeps it uh, propagating further away than, than usual. Um, in very high frequencies, when you get to the UHF ranges and the very high frequency ranges like the gigahertz range, rain or snow will actually attenuate signals because there's some absorption of the energy of that signal through the rain, through the snow, and and kind of a blocking of these signals a perfect effect of that and people that have had satellite television for a while know that on a very snowy day it's possible that you're not getting the satellite signal because the attenuation of the cloud but mostly the snow that's falling or the rain if it's heavy rain uh, attenuates the signal enough that suddenly your receiver can't actually get that signal anymore and because these signals are digital it's even worse so depending on the weather yes there are some effects that can happen uh, one that we suspect is possible also is in the lower frequency ranges when we talk about sporadic e skip there's different uh phenomena in there one of them that we think is that when there are some really intense storms and um for example, a warm front or a cold front that goes through and there's a line of thunderstorms. We think that these thunderstorms sometimes might actually be some of the reason that the e-skip exists is that it ionizes a very specific spot in the ionosphere where you will suddenly hear signals from far away and in higher frequencies. So you might hear six meter band open to, you know, a thousand kilometers away where Usually it's more of a, um, you know, line of sight VHF range. So these are all phenomena that 
actually yes in some frequency ranges and depending on what you're listening to and the frequency you're listening to the weather can affect the um, the signals that you're listening to but technically the lower frequency you are the less it has an effect so at some point below 30 megahertz in the shortwave range for example rain snow all of that will in general have very little to no effect at all that you can notice uh, on the lower frequency ranges so that's pretty much the little tip try to use the weather to see if some signals of propagation especially when you see warm fronts or they're saying hey a cold front's coming it was really hot and then suddenly the next day it's cold well tune in the VHF range you might be surprised that there's some weird effects of propagation because of that temperature change or that front that's creating unusual phenomena in propagation enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching